Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you a simple technique of how to insert a table into Word. So I've got a simple document up here and depending on where you want to insert your document will depend on where you want to place your cursor. So let's say for example I wanted to place my table here. All I'm going to do is place my cursor there, I'm going to hit the return key twice and then put the cursor back to that middle point there. Then I'm going to go to insert and here on the table icon I'm going to click on the drop down. Now if you just want to put a quick table in then all you need to do is click and drag your cursor to how many columns you want and how many rows you want and your table is inserted. Now the other way to do this I'm just going to put my cursor down here go to insert click on the table drop down and click on insert table and here you'll have further options so you can actually manually insert the number of columns you want and the number of rows and generally you'll do this if you want more than eight rows because that's all you're given on the drag and drop menu then you're given a couple of other options if you want it to fit your content or it wants to fit the window and then you just click OK once your table is inserted you might want to make a few adjustments so here I always find when the table is inserted the rows are quite narrow so if you select your table by clicking on this top left icon and then go to table layout at the top here and then on this height icon here you can change the height of your table rows I'm going to put one centimeter in and press enter and now you can see how that's affected the row height now you can also see this blue shading is towards the top of the cells so if I was to type now my text would be at the top if you want to change that let's say we want to change it for the whole table select the whole table go to layout and over here you can select exactly where your text will be aligned so if you want center left you can click center left or if you want everything to be center aligned you can click this one here or maybe over to the right center in addition if you want to change the color of these cells let's say we want to change this top row here to gray select the cells you want to change the color of this time you need to go to table design and over here you can select the, all of your borders and shading so the look of your table if you go to shading click on the drop down and then you can select from any of these colors if you don't see the color of your choice go to more colors and here you can select from the color wheel and you can use the bright and darker slider and your final color will be shown here and then just click OK but we're simply going to go to shading and click on a gray color now if you want a table but you don't want any of the lines select the table go to borders click on the drop down and select no borders but now you can't see the cells so if you just want to be able to see the outline of the cells go to borders again but go down to view grid lines now these grid lines will not show up in your final document so if you wanted to print it out or save it as a PDF these lines won't show up it's just a guide so I'm just going to go back and put those lines in so I'm going to go to all borders and then the final thing to show you is quickly how to merge and split cells so if you wanted all of this row here to be merged as one long row select it go to layout and select merge cells then if you wanted to split that back into two select it go to split cells and the number of columns you want is two but sticking to one row and click OK and just very quickly if you wanted to add more rows select the row with the correct formatting so if I copy this row it will look like this if I copy this row it will look like this with the four columns so select the row that you want to copy go to layout and simply go to insert above or below it doesn't matter and you can add those cells to delete cells select it right click go down to delete cells and click OK and it will delete that those cells or that row so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day